Hey guys, this is my tutorial on Google Desktop. Okay, well, first of all, I'll show you how to install. So I'm going to your web browser, Google, Google Desktop. Simple as that. Or you could go to desktop.google.com. And right there, and you press install. It's going to pop up the thing. It's going to say, uh, it's going to ask you to uh, save the thing. I don't need to because I've already done this. But you just say save and you just run the file. But I will show you the features, the handy features of Windows of Google Desktop. Now, this is a fresh install. I uh, haven't done too much customizing. Everything's in its proper place, it should be. Um, you can see you have your Google Gadgets on your side here. Now, I can take the Google Gadget and I can take it out. Oops. Take it out, I can move it on screen, go wherever the hell I want. And I'll say, I want to put it back, I don't like that. Um, so you can move it around, customize it, you know, change your time, change your location, the weather, and of course, and all you have to do is simply just go in, options, and just choose your place. Also, your pictures, these pictures are pictures that are, that are taken from your computer. Options. Any of the pictures that are taken from my personal uh, picture folder and my public one, all these pictures are just computer pictures. Um, my scratch pad, very simple. I already did a note show at 8 o'clock on WPA, which is the time our show is on. Um, it's as simple as that. That's how, that's how easy it is. But I want to also show you that Google Desktop is not all about the gadgets, even though you can add a lot of gadgets. So I'll just show you how to add gadgets. And then we can continue the rest of it. I want to add a gadget. It's as simple as this. You go, you find a gadget you want. Let's say I want the system monitor. I get out of this. There's my system monitor. It's telling me my how much of my CP, my uh, processor, how much weight my ha processor has going on it. My memory, how much my um, percent of my memory is being taken up. My disk space and my network. How much network uh, uh, bandwidth is coming in. Now I don't like that either. So now to show you the rest of this, it's as simple. Okay. Now I want to search my computer for cats. Now I only have .cat files because this is a fresh install of Windows 7. But it's a but it's searching my entire computer for the word cat, and it's found a .cat file several times. Now I don't want to search. I, I never want to search my computer for this. I never want to search my computer. I want to search the web. Just click on Google search. Well. As simple as that, it goes into Google search and already has searched the word cat. Which is pretty handy. Because now I don't have to go into here. Even though I have Google Chrome even though I have Google Chrome and I can just search it right here. And it's gonna search Google automatically. I could just do it from my desktop. Another thing is if you're like me and like to use the keyboard all the time, you click control twice and it'll pop up Google search the word cat in here. Once again, it's going to search my computer. Not going to find the word cat. Well, it found the word cat, but not the one I want. I want to search the internet again. And there's the cats again. Okay? So, that's pretty simple. Now, all that looks really, really cool. Now, what I want you to know is that downloading this, when, you, when I search cat, not best spell, not the best type in the world. When I search for a cat and search and eat my desktop, as you can see, all my stuff is in here as if it was searched on Google. I assure you that if someone searches cat, they're not going to come up with your information. It's there's a very uh, heavily, uh, very well written privacy policy that Google has for Google Desktop. You can check it out. I'm not going to show it in this tutorial particularly. Next, I want to show you what comes with Google Desktop. When you download Google Desktop, you get Google, you get Gmail uh, icon, and you get Google Docs icon. Google Docs will be in another video on YouTube, and you get Google Calendar. If you have any of these, this is becoming very useful. Now, let's say I want to go into Gmail. It's right on your desktop. You might have apps. I have apps on my internet browser. 
for Akima. While this is loading, see how these do not interfere with each other. This does not overlap over that, or this does not overlap over that. The screen is the screen is cut off as if this was the end of the screen right here, and they do not overlap each other, so you can easily view stuff. I've gone into my email, and as you can see, it's opened up in, a, in an entirely new kind of browser. A browser does not have an address bar. I cannot go in and change that and make it an address bar. This is just for viewing my mail. If I go and click on Google Calendar, it'll open my Google Calendar as in the as a separate web browser. If I can Google Documents, it'll open it as a separate web browser. Another thing is is that Google Gadgets also pops out like I believe I showed you before. And this is all my Google Docs. I'll show you Google Docs in a separate episode, like I said. And it's as simple as that. So if you decide to get this, that would be great. And, um, another thing I want to show you is that with Windows 7 and Windows Vista, you could search your computer just like Google, uh, just like Google Desktop, right from your search panel. But if you do not have Windows XP or Vista, then you could do it right from here. I prefer to have this because I have better gadgets here, even though I have 7 or Vista.